Hi, I'm Atis Limos Prozen and thank you for being here and I thought that today I could um, that it would be good to introduce myself to you uh, because there are actually a lot of new people here and you are very welcome and I also want to kind of explain my journey and how I became an, uh, an artist. So first of all, um, well, I'm, I'm French, I come from a town outside Paris, uh, but I live in Ireland and I've been uh, living here for four and a half years. And so I always enjoy uh, drawing when I was younger, I was uh, drawing quite a lot and enjoying um, art lessons at, at school very much, uh, but by I think high school I kind of started to give up on it and to focus on my studies more and you know in my mind being an artist just uh, wasn't an option at all and it took me um, many years to come back to it. So I actually uh, studied science, I studied uh, biology and then uh, food science and nutrition. Uh, I worked in research and development and now I work in business development for food and uh, so <laughs> I remember when I had my first job and my first uh, pay slip I went to buy art supplies and I bought a lot of art supplies that I still have with me today uh, but it was very difficult to get to it and to add there's a lot of art supplies that I never used and it was several years later when I found an art teacher uh, in the town I was living at the time and she well, she didn't teach me the technique that much but from the first painting and it was an old, my first old painting um, she completely uh, relaxed me and kind of unlocked my confidence so I knew I could, I could paint, I knew I could make art thanks to her and I started to paint regularly without you know the fear of you know what comes a little bit before the process of creation is that this fear of not doing something good and I realized more and more that it's what I was needed I needed heart in my life and I, you know after a, a long day at work painting was uh, very therapeutic and very calming and it was uh, making me happier and you know when I paint I don't think about the meetings, the reports, uh, the work related issues and misbehavior and I'm completely unstressed and uh, serene when I paint. So a few years ago I started to learn the technique and be uh, in contact with uh, more and more artists in my community uh, especially when I moved to Ireland and I realized that I wanted to share my heart with the world and I wanted to become an artist entrepreneur and that's when it all started and um, so what I paint I am mostly drawn to seascapes and landscapes uh, in Ireland or places around the world that I visited uh, for well, for example, this painting that I finished is inspired by a place fifteen minutes from here, and and this one I'm I'm still working on on that at the moment. It's from um, a place I went um, in New Zealand a while ago, actually a fantastic trip that I made there, and so those paintings are for my series around the world uh, that I'm going to be releasing later this year. Uh, but I don't only paint landscapes, I also make still lives and I recently started uh, creating digital art that I shared with you um, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but all of what I create as one purpose is that I want my art to reflect this feeling of calm and serenity that I have when I'm creating them and I want to make you forget about your business and the worries and to take a moment for yourself that is 
uh, where my heart is coming from and this is what I want uh, my heart to make you feel. Um, so I am I'm very curious to know uh, about you. Is it something that you personally feel challenging to do, like relax and feel uh, calm? And uh, let me know uh, in the comments or by DM uh, what is your most important uh, frustration when it comes to uh, relax after a busy day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye.